Justinian, we are really happy to have you here. Um, what are your first impressions and what did you see so far? Uh, well, I only just arrived yesterday, so I mean, my first impressions are it's a lot colder than New Zealand summer. Um, <laughs> and yeah, I mean, Ulm seems like a pretty like little small kind of cute, I guess, town. Um, and the facility is amazing. That's also one of my first impressions. You arrived yesterday and today you had your first training session. Um, how was it with your new teammates? Yeah, good. Um, good to kind of get the legs under me a little bit and uh, get playing with the guys. You know, it's going to start to just familiarize, familiarize myself um, with the team, with the coaching staff, uh, memorize the playbook and whatnot. So, yeah, good first day. Probably the most important question. Why do you choose Ulm and what did you, do you know about the club? Yeah, I mean, I think it was a bit of a unique situation. Um, I was coming off an injury from the NBL season. Uh, our season had just finished, you know, the team lost in the playoffs. I, haven't, I hadn't been playing. And so, you know, they reached out and were inquiring. And obviously, I, you know, my agent told me and I kind of knew a little bit about the program. Obviously, they won the German League Championship last year. They have a good rep for developing players and sending them on to higher competition. And so I think it's just uh, perfect timing, really. Um, they needed a player. So, yeah, it worked out well. Last season, you played in Saragossa, your first time in Europe. What do you think about the game here and what are the main differences in your eyes? Yeah, I mean, I think European teams tend to play a lot more strategically and tactically compared to, let's say, Americans or Australians. Um, the tempo is slowed down a bit. Um, you're going to have a lot more actions in the offenses and whatnot. And... Yeah, I think just the basketball culture in general, um, there's differences, you know, the, the way the fans interact and um, the way the basketball is played and the practices are run. It's all just a bit different, you know, so it's it's fun, though. Of course, Justinian is a special name here. Um, <laughs> what is the origin? Tell us. And is there a nickname? Yeah, Justinian is a Roman emperor. Um, that's, my, I guess, my... Well, I know my dad is a history buff, so mm -hmm. that's probably why they chose it. But yeah, I haven't met another Justinian, so if you guys know <laughs> one, let me know. <laughs> um, and sorry, what was the second part of the question? What is the nickname? Oh, nickname. I just say JJ now. You know, okay. Justinian Jessup, it's JJ. So <laughs> yeah. And I saw you have a sister, and she has the same surname with the same letter, yeah. also J. Yeah. Judith, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. She, she goes by JJ too, so... <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, okay. That, so hopefully she doesn't show up here and everybody starts calling each other the same thing. <laughs> you were the number 10 on yep. your jersey. Is there a reason? No, just one in my whole life. Um, it's pretty much the biggest reason. Okay. Yeah. How did you come to play basketball and what was the most beautiful experience you associate with this sport? Wow. Um, so, I mean, I came to play basketball just growing up. I loved it, played YMCA as a kid and had good coaches growing up that kind of just inspired a passion for the game and just, you know, kept playing, loved it, whatnot, just continued. Be most beautiful experience. Um, I'd say in a game, we I played for Boise State and we won on a half-court buzzer beater uh, playing against Oregon. Um, that was by far my favorite basketball experience on the court and off the court was getting drafted. That was like a beautiful mm -hmm. moment mm -hmm. for me um, having that happen. We come back to game day, game day routines and mm. your favorite menu before a game. What do you eat before games? Uh, it's just basic like some chicken, veggies and uh, potatoes. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's usually what I go to. Um, and then, yeah, something like last year in Spain, I, would, I had this little cafe that I would go to and I'd get like a little treat sometimes on the game day. And that was that was a nice little routine for me. <laughs> okay. Is there a particular genre of music that you need before games? Nah, uh, nah, before games, not really. I'm kind of all over the place, like country, hip hop, gospel, um, pop. 
honestly, whatever I'm feeling, pretty there's a, there's a lot of variety. Uh, no special artist? Nah, not really. <laughs> <laughs> nah, okay, then the mix yeah. is the yeah. right one. Variety. Okay, do you have any rituals? Video game rituals? Uh, trying to think. Man, honestly, it's been a while since I played the game. Yeah, I, yeah. I didn't play this last season, really, so... Um, yeah, I can't think of any like specific rituals, you know. I'm more just about like the routine of the game day, mm -hmm. the process, you know. Like I don't, I don't really get superstitious. Like I got to tie, I got to double knot my shoe, yeah. you know, <laughs> that type of thing. So okay, yeah. Last question: What's the first thing you do when you enter our arena against Würzburg next week? What's the first thing I do? Yeah. Uh, walk to the locker room and get changed. <laughs> Put on my own jersey. Um, yeah. And getting out after getting out. Yeah, get out. Um, honestly, the first thing I'm gonna do is just thank God. Like this, you know, missing this this kind of season, only mm -hmm. playing a couple of games, having the injury was uh, kind of it gives me like a more gratitude for just being out there you know and being healthy and stuff so that's what i'm gonna do and just say thank you lord so then we're looking forward to your home debut against würzburg and thank you jj yeah thank you